Hi, my name's Isaac and I've been on a little bit of a hiatus, though you wouldn't know that because I've been uploading videos every week. Uh, the last two weeks, I've actually been on jury duty. So the last two videos that I uploaded, I actually uploaded on break at the courthouse. So I've, I don't have time to, uh, you know, film videos. This is my first video back and I figured I'd do something a little bit differently. I don't have a truck lined up to review because all of the truck reviews got pushed back a couple weeks because of jury duty. I didn't know when I was going to get out. Court cases are crazy. Believe it or not, I actually really liked being on the jury. Wasn't super excited at first to do that, but after the whole case kind of got started, I'm like, oh my goodness, this is like a movie. They're like yelling at each other. It's crazy. It's crazy. If you've ever gotten jury duty, you might know what I'm talking about. Or maybe you got jury duty and it was super boring. I have no idea. Anyway, since I don't have a truck to review, uh, or a new mod to add to my truck. I decided that I'm going to do a video where I focus on fixing the problems that I've seen on uh, my favorite trucks, least favorite trucks, maybe changing them a little bit because I do love to draw and I figured I've seen a lot of other YouTube channels where they'll change stuff uh, in you know Photoshop and I want to add and change a few things on some of the trucks that I like uh, to maybe make them look better. I have no idea how this is gonna play out. I don't have a script for this. I know what trucks I wanna do. I just don't know how this is gonna go. So we'll see. Basically this is, I fix trucks in Photoshop and we'll see how it looks. Here we go. Um, we have three trucks I'm gonna Photoshop and I'm gonna go over briefly uh, what I don't like about them. For starters, so we're going to pull up the 2019 Toyota Tundra. Um, that's our biggest thing. Um, I'm going to pull up the crew cab and the extended cab. Um, I don't have a problem with the crew cab. I think the crew cab is actually a very handsome looking truck. Uh, I really like how it looks. So that's the extended cab. This is the crew cab. So my biggest problem is right here uh, where the back fender flares out a little bit. Now, on the 2007 design, they, I don't know what they were doing here. I don't know, I don't know why they did this. So it kind of flares down, and I don't, it's, oh, it looks so ugly. Like, it looks like the Toyota Tundra uh, extended cab has like a, like a, it almost looks like it's a dually, like it's flaring out to be a dually, but it's not and then it ends up making the truck kind of look a little goofy. Like, I don't really, I don't like how that looks. Now, the crew cab doesn't really have that because it, uh, the, uh, the cab is longer. So what I really want to focus on is fixing this, because I've done this before. I did this in Photoshop once, and I went, this looks so much better. Why wouldn't they just make it flush like the rest of the truck is kind of flat right here? One other thing I do want to touch on is how the cab uh, curves here on the extended cab. Doesn't really do that on the crew cab, um, at least not an abnormal amount. I'm gonna change that uh, fender flaring in the back to make it flat, and then I'm maybe gonna pull the cab out a little bit here to see, uh, and maybe make that a little bit flat, maybe make that a little bit more boxed off. And I really think that this uh, front end design for the Tundra is great. I really like how it looks, this entire video is me being petty, by the way. None of this matters. None of this affects design. None of this affects aerodynamics, aerodynamics, whatever you say. Uh, it's all me being petty. All right, so now we have the Tundra up here, and it is big. This photo isn't great, but we're going to Photoshop it anyway. So we're going to go in. Uh, what are we going to do first? Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go in. We're going to do the smudge tool. This is actually might be fairly simple to do this. So uh, we're going to go a little smaller. We're going to smudge this a little. Oh my gosh, too much, too much smudge. All right, smudge this a little bit. There we go. That's not too terrible. And then we're going to take the clone stamp tool. So look at that. Look at how much better that looks. If it just, it's just the flush. I don't even need to affect the cap. It just runs flush through. And then, because the back here, is flush, so I don't know why it needs to curve down. So let's take the clone stamp tool, and then we're gonna just take this section of the bed and just kind of extend it there. See, look at that. Look at how much better that looks. 
So going back to the smudge, let's bring, oh shoot, do I want to do it like this? Yeah, we'll do it like this, I guess. Oh, how am I going to do this properly and not make it sucky looking? Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to do, this is the problem when you decide you're going to make a video and you don't have any ideas. So, uh, like, you don't, like, I didn't, whoops, I didn't pre-plan this at all, so. All right. So what I'm doing is I'm erasing the layer here, so when I smudge the cab on here, it's not going to affect the background at all. So a little bit of a, a, little bit of a trickery here. Let's do like that, maybe. We don't need to drag it out too far. I think that's pretty good, and then we'll clean this up. Okay. Or maybe a little bit further. All right, cool. Oh, it's not bad. Let's fix the uh, let's fix the door uh, sill here. Get the stamp tool. Clone stamp tool. I'm telling you, Photoshop. That's your guy. That's your pal. I'm going to make the door sill go up a little bit straighter here just because it's obviously we're opening the uh, cab up a little bit more. Good thing I checked because I ran out of recording space. Fantastic. So I just wrapped up uh, the Tundra. Uh, so we'll go over basically what, I, what the looks are and everything and what I changed real quick. I'm going to put the original Tundra on the left here mine on the right you know I think that personally I would get mine just because I like how the looks uh, are I think it just flows better down here and I like that the cab is extended out more don't like how that flares down like that I think that that's a much sleeker look tell me what you guys think in the comments obviously I know some people might really like the look some people might like how it kind of bubbles a little bit there but I like how this looks. I think that looks pretty good. I'd buy a truck that looks like that. On to the next truck. The GMC Canyon is a uh, good looking truck. I really like how this truck looks. I think it is a pretty handsome looking truck. Uh, the front end looks good. What I'm changing, this window line right here swoops up and I don't like how it swoops up I think that it's it's weird it's almost like they took it in Photoshop and went eh. what it reminds me of is kind of a European ute design for an SUV or for a truck and kind of what I've seen in a lot of the Australian and European other European um, trucks and then I remembered that the GMC Canyon and the Chevy Colorado have been in production and for sale since 2012 overseas and that when they brought them back they just took that overseas design and redid the front fascia and the back a little bit neglecting to change the cab which is having which has that kind of ute design because if we go here to this one to this one I went oh well maybe the Canyon does that swoop to match the back window line but if you look here it doesn't because, uh, draw, it doesn't because the back window line can match right here. Like it doesn't need to swoop up. Oh, I just don't like how it looks. So we're going to fix it. I like working with silver trucks just because uh, it's a little bit easier. Whoopsie doozies. It's a little bit easier to, um, to when you're editing them to bring the colors up and the and to kind of match the contrast and everything with the silver it's not always but it, it, it i just think that it's a little bit easier when i'm photoshopping trucks look at that like it's not fantastic but we're gonna make it look fantastic in a second here but it's just like ugh, ugh. i mean gmc canyons i think are really good looking trucks uh, and they and they really do basically they just copy the Sierras and I am totally okay with the copying of the Sierra because I really like how the Sierra looks and uh, you know to have come on 
to have that kind of design on the midsize truck is is neat. Cause I, so I went to college for video editing, and that's uh, I really honestly, if I had to be honest, I wanted to be an actor. But I really felt, like I said in my other video, that I really felt God leading me towards being a youth pastor. And you know, when God tells you to do something, at least in my book, uh, which is the Bible, uh, you know, you don't ignore it. You don't ignore when God's telling you to do something. And I, so I was like, okay, God. If this is what you want me to do, I will not ignore you uh, in doing this. And so I'm like, you know what? I'm going to go back to college to be a youth pastor. And I'm ecstatic. I'm really excited to hopefully be able to go back uh, next year. And so in this gap year, I'm like, I'm going to make videos because I love doing truck stuff. And uh, so <laughs> if I get the opportunity to make this video for you guys, I'm thrilled. Okay, shoot. Okay. Uh, forget how to move the clone stamp tool. Yes. Okay. 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 Frame offset. 60. Go. No, that's not it. Shoot. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. 50. Is it? Yes. Okay. Great. See, look at that that rear window and how much it looks how much just I think it looks more flush how the it's more open maybe it's just me I, I also think it just I don't think the windows swooshing design goes good with how the front end looks I don't I think it looks too European for the side swoosh with the window and I think it need the window line should be more boxy don't even get me started on how the cab swooshes like that, like it kind of curves at the cab. That's not the worst thing in the world. I could really care less about that. But the window is what I see. And I see this these trucks drive by and I go, that's a good looking truck. Oh yeah, I don't like how the window looks. Ugh. But now we've made the window look better. Not great, but better. And we are back. I had to take a little bit of a break before we got to the F-150. Uh, I My camera was about to overheat, and so I wanted to let the battery charge a little bit more. And uh, so we can get into this. This is going to be quite the interesting thing. So we have our F-150 here. Boy, this is what I don't like, okay? I think these F-150s look really nice. I like the majority of how this looks. The higher trims, some of these guys have these giant chrome grills, and I'm not opposed to chrome. What I don't like about this is how there's a big overhang uh, of the grill. So basically, um, on this truck specifically, I need to make that a little bit bigger. On this truck, the grill like goes way above the headlights, and it just looks like weird. Like, why is the grill this high? Like. I feel like it should be cut off at the headlights right here, or the headlights should be raised up. I don't know why they don't just cut the cut the thing here. That's ridiculous. So that's what we're gonna do today. Now, to give you some context, uh, I don't mind um, this F-150. I think this F-150 looks great. Um, as I mentioned, uh, some of the trims on these trucks do look fine. I think this looks great. I think this is an all around a great truck just because the giant chrome section is color matched. And so you don't see it. I think that looks a lot better on these trucks, makes them look a lot more tough and sleek. I want to just experiment and move this grill just down a little bit more so it's on line with the headlights. Boop. There's our grill. Uh, this is just going to be a very light, quick, basic uh, design shift. So I guess if we put the headlights online there, I mean, I, I think that that looks, if you just, if we make it f completely flush, and we just put the grill like that, see, I think that's a pretty good look. I don't know why Ford kind of didn't just do that. It's, it's odd because, the, and this is why I was confused with kind of Ford's thing before, is they're so, like, they're very good especially with this current generation of F-150, uh, to make it look very sleek and very, um, 
the lines all put together and flow well. So it's odd for me to see on this F-150, especially with your front grille, why it doesn't look flush. Like if we look here, we're just going to compare this real quick. Um, like why, oh boy, let's get you out of here. So this is what the original looks like. This is what mine looks like. Like why the grill couldn't sit flush with the headlights. Like why is it above it? Like that seems like a design choice you could just, you could negate right there unless it was like rushed. Because I think mine looks much better. Even it's probably an inch or two higher. But if we move it lower, that sits kind of like the F-250's grills do. That's weird. That's, I don't know why they did that. But let's get to the crowning uh, contender, the chrome grill on this guy. Oh, boy. What are we doing here? What are we doing? Um, Mr. Chrome grill here. Let's take you, bring you into this this picture, all right, make it look a little bit more flush. So let's bring this part of the grill in. Let's bring this part of the grill in a little bit. I can't win. Let's pull you out. Get you right to where that is. Push you in. A little bit more. Is that good? How does this look? That looks okay. All right, let's say that's that right there. We could we could airbrush in. We could do a light paint here with the uh, hood to kind of keep it flowing. Oh goodness, come on. So yeah, tell me what. I, clearly, a little bit more rushed on this one, I guess. Tell me what you think. I, I don't think mine's like the greatest design, but I just don't like how high it goes. I think either the headlight, it almost looks Photoshopped. This um, one on the right almost looks like it is the Photoshopped one because it goes so high on the hood. But then on the left, I see where Ford was probably coming from. It looks goofy if you did the grill like this. I don't know. Tell me in the comments, guys, what you think. I definitely think that the ideal F-150 uh, of this generation. I don't exactly remember quite which what's the name of this generation, but I think the ideal F-150 would be this with the grill lowered a little bit um, to look to look a little sleeker. But yeah, so tell me what you guys think of this of this video. Hopefully, uh, it was informative. I don't know why it would be informative. I hope I hope that this can help start a conversation in the comments. I didn't really have too much to do today so I figured I'd film this video kind of experiment a little bit more with the kind of the truck theme but not necessarily reviewing a truck uh, my new goal is to do one video a week I don't know if you've noticed throughout this I have a new microphone set up um, my last video with my where I did the features <coughs> where I did the features on my trucks uh, the microphone feedback like the actual literally the feedback on the microphone wasn't great so I decided to invest in some better ones so I can make you guys some higher quality and better videos. If you could leave a like or a comment, that would be awesome. If you could subscribe, that would be even better. I'm really trying to get to a thousand subscribers uh, so I can monetize the videos. Not that I'm trying to be greedy or anything, but uh, I really do. The, the more that I can monetize, the better equipment I can afford. I can't afford to do too crazy of videos now, so that's why I'm trying to experiment with stuff like this. Um, so the more that you guys support me, the better production value videos I can do. We're, so I'm super excited about that. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you have a great rest of your day. And remember, no matter what truck you pick, I'll be praying that God blesses you and it lasts you for a very long time. Take care.